G'day guys, a little review today and my thoughts between the original Kuyu Bino Harness and the newer Pro Bino Harness. Been running both these Bino Harnesses for a little while now. I just thought I'd post up my thoughts, uh, point out some of the differences between them and that might help you guys make a decision. If you like the video, please hit the uh, the like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll put a link, it'll either be that side or that side, uh, to a review I did a while back on the Kuyu original system versus the uh, Alaskan Guides creation. Bino harness or the, the Vortex Guide, that's the same thing. So my Pro harness is in XL to suit my Maven 9x45s. Uh, the original harness I've got is in the large, I think the regular size. Um, I use that for my little 8x30s. My B2s do fit in the in the uh, the original harness, but only just. They're a much better fit in the new system. Uh, I use the rangefinder pouches on the side of both of these, and I've got the the little Velcro ammo holder. Uh, I was a little bit sceptical that that'd get torn off in the bush, but it stays on there really well. So I've modified my original Kuyu harness. Uh, if you've watched a review. On the original before, uh, these two straps here normally attach to the loops on each side of your binoculars and they just sit in the pouch a bit like a bucket. Uh, so yeah, I've cut these holes each side in this body. Let's sort of show that a bit. Cut these little slots and the strap just goes straight through that so the the bucket just sort of hangs off your chest and shoulders like the new pro series makes it heaps better i don't think you can hear that but my next door neighbor's just decided to start mowing his lawn so i guess i'll just pause doing the video until he finishes i do like that both these harnesses um, allow me to carry the the pouches quite high on my chest uh, that's how i like to have my binos because I use that safari sling. Um, not all brands allow you to do that, so that's uh, that's one little plus I've got for them. This is the original bino harness going on. As you can see, you just sort of put it over your head, clip the side strap in, good to go. Uh, the yoke on the back's pretty much the same shape from the old model to the new model. It's a slightly different foam. That's about it. As you'll see in this clip, this is the new. Pro Bino Harness. Uh, I did wear this quite loud shirt on purpose so you can clearly see where it all sits, where it's supported. So down to weight. So the original harness system is lighter than the Pro. Uh, on my scales, this guy without the rangefinder pouch weighs in at 218 grams and the Pro in XL is 371. Uh, if you have a look at the straps and buckles used between the two, you can see that the Pro is quite a bit beefier. The Pro also has inbuilt tethers that attach your binos to the pack and harness. Uh, it's a worthy upgrade that. I do have a small bungee attachment on the Pro to, to fill that role. Uh, no one wants to have their expensive binos fall out if they're climbing under a tree or a log or a bush or whatever, uh, if you've got the pouch open. Uh, the original was a bit of a pain to detach your glass from the system. Um, that was prior to the mod that I did on it, so um, that that definitely helped. So the separate tethers on this guy definitely make it more functional. Uh, if you want decent wet weather coverage on the original harness, you've got to use a little dicky rain cover. It's like a pack cover uh, that goes over the top, whereas the Pro is inherently waterproof, so you don't need a cover. Uh, definitely appreciate that in a feature because, yeah, I hate carrying that little dicky cover. There's a little bit of a difference on how the, the top flaps on these hook over the top of the binos. Uh, the original one, it, it sort of hooks over the, the top of your binoculars, whereas the Pro, it's got like a back panel that goes all the way to the top. So that, uh, that actually hooks over there. And also the Pro, comes with little like soft foam inserts. I think you get three inserts to space your binos up so they do sit near the top of that. Um, in use, I find that both harnesses work well. They do the same thing. They both pr protect my binos. I tend to run the XL more 
because um, it fits the B2s better. Like I said, I can fit them in this one, but they're pretty tight. Got to sort of twist the eye cups in, which gets annoying. Um, I don't intend to replace this one though with a, a regular size Pro. Um, still a perfectly functional system. Uh, added bonus with these Bino systems is I use it for my thermal at night. So take the binos out. It's great to have like a big um, sort of dump bucket on the front of your chest, I suppose. It's dark. Uh, you don't want to fumble with, with neat fitting pouches to get your thermal out at night. It's, it's really easy to get this in and out from a shooting position uh, in the dark. So that's a good little tip. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that helps some people make a decision on, uh, on which one to go for. There's already some good info out there, but I just thought I'd put my thoughts up side by side from an actual um, prolonged use period. Uh, like I said before, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all next time.